Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to BR Outdoors. Today what we're going to do is we're going to pre-tension the winch. So if you got to use it, um, it's ready to go. If you don't know how to do that, stick around. We're going to do that right now. So the first thing you want to do is get the uh, cord out for the winch. Here it is. Let's go hook it up. Here we are outside the truck. Here's your winch on the front. You plug it in right beside it, right there. You pop that off. There we go. And just look at how that is and you put it in there accordingly like so there's enough uh, cord that you can put across the hood and uh, put it through the window and use it that way but uh, I'm not going to do that today because I'm by myself and I'm going to pre-tension the winch by myself I'm going to use that rock for that sign as you see, the rock right below it, let's get set up. So you'll want to start the truck for this. And now there's a neutral. This right here is your neutral. Put it all the way over. And you should be able to pull it. Yes, you can pull it. I'm going to get my gloves on. Okay. Let's pull it. So we're hooked up here, down here, hooked up there. Now let's see if we don't pull that rock towards the truck or if the truck goes towards the rock. Okay, I almost forgot about safety. You want to put a, a winch dampener on it. I can't open it right up because the ground's like right there, so because of the angle I'm at, but that's that. Let you go a little further up. So the idea is you don't want it to something happened and that winch hook go right through your window or something I don't think it will just pulling away the truck I'm sure the cable stronger than that but okay now I'll get this thing in neutral
Okay, so that should be good. Wow, well, that probably could have done a better job than what it was, but by myself it's pretty good. You shouldn't even post this the way I did that. It's pretty dangerous, and I could have lost the truck if that strap broke, but it's the way I did that. So now the rest of it, the last, oh, what is that, 15 feet? You can just you can just do it by hand now. So I'm going to take all that, take that thing off of there, and this winch blanket can come off. I only fell on the icy hill once. It's a good day. So now I'll get it in the park and uh, spring the rest in by hand. So that's it. Put sunlight in there. Not bad for not bad for uh, doing it by myself anyway. There's no help, so I don't think I'll need to do it again. I go get my strap. So uh, now I'm ready to get her stuck. So I'll wind this back up. Funny how you can never do it like they do it when they package it, eh? Oh well, I'll tighten it up later. Okay, so that's the video for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I wouldn't recommend doing it the way I did by yourself, especially on a hill this steep. I mean, if that strap broke because of the rock, power wagon would have been gone. No way I would have caught it. So, uh, always have two people. So I just did that to show you. I took a chance. And uh, I had faith in the strap. Anyway, um, that's how you pretension your winch. Uh, the reason I did that is because the dealer doesn't have the room to do that in their facility. So I mean, around here anyway. And uh, they just pretty put, pretty much put it in by by hand. And uh, if you needed it and you had to pull the weight of the truck out of mud or whatever, uh, the, what the winch cable will do is just as the spool is turning. It's just turning in the in the cable like a fishing reel when you put your line on too loose and you go reel it in the reels going but the lines not moving it's just slipping inside so now it's tight and uh, usable so uh, yeah that's the video for today um, don't recommend the way I did it don't do that unless you're on a lesser sleep steep and you want to take a chance like I did anyway leave your comments down below I might get hate on this one it's appreciated as a regular comment, I guess, because I kind of deserve it for this video. But anyway, that's it. Like, subscribe, uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.